Welcome to Specific Love. Marshmallow guns have been around for a while and kids love playing with these things. They also shoot quite far. And I've always wondered, how does the marshmallow bounce around all in there, pick up enough velocity, and go flying out and hit the target? So, I picked up some clear PVC and I made a carbon copy of this one. And we're gonna do this at a high rate of speed so we can actually see this happen. To capture that footage, I've recently purchased a Sony RX10 Model 3. Now this is supposed to be able to film up to 960 frames per second, so that should be plenty fast to capture what we need. In a previous video, I made this awesome sniper rifle marshmallow gun. Now I've taken it, and we've made a clear version of it too. So I'd love to see this one in action. For the first test, we will start at 240 FPS. And at this speed, the marshmallow still moves quite fast. So let's try that again at 480. At this speed, we can start to get a better picture of the marshmallow bouncing around inside. Now at 960 frames per second, the motion is much clearer. The marshmallow fully stops its forward motion at the first turn, changes direction, and accelerates again toward the second turn, where it repeats this process before heading out the barrel. To make sure the marshmallow reacted the same with a constant pressure, I set my air hose to 100 PSI and blasted away. The marshmallow impacted each turn at a higher velocity bounced for a fraction of a second, and proceeded out the barrel. I then grabbed the sniper rifle and set the camera to 960 FPS. The marshmallow bounced through the tight two turns, coming to almost a full stop at each. This footage shows us that the full velocity of the marshmallow is only picked up in a straight barrel. So if you're able to use a longer barrel on your gun, you should be able to have a better exit velocity. Now if you're interested in learning how to make one of these awesome sniper rifle marshmallow guns, I'll put a link to our video in the description below. Also, if you're interested in making some clear PVC guns, I'll put a link to this in the description also. And now that I have this high speed camera, I'd really love to hear some ideas from you what I can film with this so we can see it in a little bit of a slow-mo footage. Now, I'll only do that every so often, it won't be an every time thing, but I'd really like to hear some ideas. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, have fun building.